Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide and we are on January 28th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Dew where we look at space weather, world weather, earthquakes and volcanoes. Looking at the last 48 hours on the sun, 304 angstroms, you can really see large plasma filaments in the incoming side here. Yes, very large filament. Just looking at Earth to scale there, you could probably fit about 10 Earths in the height. Looking at outgoing images here, still a pretty spastic outgoing sunspot. We do have now an Earth facing coronal hole and two sunspots Earth facing, but really not too much to talk about. They're not very fiery at all. quick look here at the coronal hole earth facing and the two sunspots getting ready to turn away i want to thank everybody for tuning in today to the daily do overwhelming response the other day to have this these videos up every day i'm going to do my best looking here real-time solar wind as we have calmed down from the over 600 kilometers per second down to about 400 kilometers per second. Definitely a regular solar wind speed now. Looking at the Schumann residence for today, a big power of 41. You can see that big spike here. It just in the last few hours, base frequency, quality of 9.8, amplitude of 41. Looking here at earthquakes, the last 24 hours from around the world, and most recent, we're looking down into Puerto Rico as they're still seeing an earthquake swarm there. San Antonio, Puerto Rico saw a large 3.7. It was the largest in that region today as well. 4.8 here reported Guatemala and across North American plate. Odessa, Texas, 2.5 as well. 2.5 there, New Mexico. And California earthquakes, largest being reported here, 2.9. The geysers and Ferndale as well has been busy. Now, interesting, the geysers, they're only recording the 2.0 and greater there on that last map. USGS showing a small swarm around the geysers in Cobb, California. As well, a notable area here, the Salton Sea as we're seeing quite a few small rumbles in that area as well. Northwestern flank of the Salton Sea. So just notable, quite a few minor rumbles across the United States, but nothing major. Looking across Alaska, 3.4 there. Largest being recorded, 4.0. As well, the Curie Islands. Uh, what is that? Shishchen, Russia, 4.6. Japan, 4.6. Another 4.6, Japan. 4.8 here, Taiwan. Another 4.2, Mongolia, Turt, Mongolia. Philippines, recording the only 4.8 there today. Papua New Guinea, 5.0. And a very quiet Fiji, New Zealand which is surprising. They've got some pretty nasty storms over, over top of them right now. Overlooking its uh, South American plate, 4.4 there. And as well, 4.4 Bolivia reported today, 230 kilometer depth. And as well, the earthquakes continue in Spain, 
another 4.3 reported today 3.4 there reported Italy and as well across Iran seeing a lot of activity 4.4 and bam Iran and as well Anakh Iran and right up into Turkestan 4.6 there right in the middle of the huge lake and that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes also seeing of course minor rumbles still across Hawaii looking at the last seven days still a very quiet North American plate largest being the 4.6 reported yesterday and of course the deep earthquakes are not continuing right now so all of the white rings on this map are the most recent earthquakes so we're kind of in a lull when it comes to a deep earthquake movement right now and seeing a lot of movement towards the African plate and up to Eurasia stay aware and prepared everybody just have a plan that's what this is all about if I can give you a heads up to a possible large seismic event then I've done my part Overlooking the Pacific Disaster Center, most recent volcanoes being updated, Sangue in Ecuador, Epico in Russia, Sabancaya in Peru, Fuego in Guatemala, Reventador in Ecuador, Kluchescoy in Russia, and then many uh, landslides and avalanches through the United States, and debris flow there, Monterey, I do, do have some video of that. Popo in Mexico, Era in Japan, Rung in Indonesia. And yeah, we are inundated right now. The Pacific Disaster Center, many disasters around the world from droughts to wildfires, floods, extreme cold conditions, Northwest Territories, Northern Ontario, very bitter cold. It's going to change here in the next five days, but... February is still going to be a long month. And of course, up across the western west coast of the uh, United States and into BC, winter storm conditions. And you can get this app for yourself so you can stay aware and prepared. Just check it out. The Pacific Disaster Center or Disaster Alert app. Overlooking Australia, already seeing some flooding conditions, northwestern parts of the continent. As we were, I was talking about the possible tropical cyclone, but it doesn't seem to be forming a cyclone. But there is another tropical cyclone, number 13, who is spinning here in the middle of the Indian Ocean, heading westward, slowly but surely. Let's get to the five day forecast, brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteo Mike. Starting out here in Calgary, Alberta. Home base in a very cold Alberta. But watching here, later in the forecast, things are going to warm up ahead of that large low pressure system coming from Alaska. And these things are whipping down the coastline right now. Let's have a look at what's happening here across North America. Low pressure system affecting the upper Midwest, the United States, and moving eastward throughout the week. Going to bring down some cold temperatures to Ontario. Probably a lot of lake effect snow flurries across the Great Lakes. And watch for extreme weather across the southeastern seaboard of the United States through Carolina. And northward, watch for quite a snowfall event. Parts of uh, Pennsylvania northward to New England. And they're already dealing with some coastal snow right now. But yeah, definitely watch for things to change as this low pressure system moves in from Alaska. It's going to bring some more snowy conditions and cold conditions towards BC and Washington and southward. A lot of rain, but like none of it getting here in Calgary. It seems that uh, Alberta Clipper is going to form right over Calgary. Later in the forecast, we might get five centimeters of snow, but still very dry here. But I think that might change with this huge mother Pacific low moving eastward. Let's keep going around here. Five day forecast. Let's look at the Atlantic Ocean. Still some vigorous low pressure systems spinning there as well. 
overlooking Europe. Watch for heavy snow towards eastern parts and central, even down into parts of Turkey and Kuwait and Iran. Watch for extreme weather there. And pretty much just wintry conditions straight across eastern Europe and central. And westward is just abnormally warm. United Kingdom getting battered by those low pressure systems. Overlooking Russia. Keep an eye on this polar vortex. Very strong vortex. And it just seems to be blocking everything from coming through including this massive low pressure system in the Pacific Ocean. And these things are really, really whipping up, I tell you. Overlooking uh, Papua New Guinea, watch for heavy rains all week long, as well Indonesia through the Philippines, daily evaporation rains, but heavier this week. As you can see, there are two low pressure systems hanging around. And when you've got low pressure systems plus the daytime evaporation, that's a mixed bag. That's a recipe for disaster, pretty much. Overlooking Australia, watch for this system here later in the week to affect southeastern parts. Could have some very, very heavy rain, some strong winds with that converging low. As it comes from the, Ar the Antarctic and moves towards Tasmania. So southeastern Australia and Tasmania later in the week, watch for the extreme weather event. To affect you Monday into Tuesday and as well that low pressure system affecting northwestern parts of the continent will bring will bring some flooding conditions overlooking Africa not much to talk about except for daily evaporation rains calming down from the last couple weeks you've had some intense rains a lot of People and homes have been displaced recently. Thoughts and prayers to everybody going out in Africa. Overlooking South, Af or South America. Low pressure system moving in to the Argentina, Chile border later in the week. Watch for extreme weather throughout the region. As the same thing is happening here. Low pressure systems on the continent. And as well, accompanied with the daily evaporation rains. A recipe for extreme torrential downpours and as well possible flash flooding the same thing is happening across the west coast right now I'm going to leave it here looking at the most notable weather systems on the planet right now and just look at these low pressure systems spinning in the southern hemisphere poor Fiji not much of a cyclone not a classified cyclone yet but this low pressure system is a doozy and it's going to bring some very strong winds and rain. And then, yeah, definitely keeping an eye on these cold temperatures that will be swinging around for February. Thanks, everybody, for watching today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit that like button, leave a comment, tell me how much you loved it, and maybe even share it. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Thanks very much. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.